Alhaji Abubakar Malami, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, has warned against attack of international business properties in the country. Malami, who gave the warning when the Coalition of Integrity Political Parties visited his office to congratulate him on her own reappointment as minister, decried attacks on shoprite companies by Nigerians in reaction to xenophobic attacks in South Africa. We are faced with a major challenge relating to unfortunate incidents happening at the international level in South Africa as it affects the interest of Nigeria and Nigerians. So that makes international collaboration, international uh, protection of the rights of Nigerian citizens equally of uh, an issue of paramount importance that comes to immediate, uh, I mean, that um, arises immediately upon the assumption of purpose. So by and large, within the context of economy, within the context of entrepreneurship and international diplomacy, there are immediate things that uh, uh, poses a challenge which we have a responsibility to confront uh, frontally. Earlier, Dr. Yakubu Shendam, national spokesperson of CIPP and chairman of New Generation Party, commended Malami for his reappointment to have been apt in terms of sustaining fight against corruption in Nigeria. Because Nigeria, we can't continue like this. We are suffering because of loot. People celebrate criminals because, you know, people want free money. But this government is coming to sanitize the system which some of us as political parties, it is our, our belief and hope that, you know, we have a credible government. We are also parties that are also aspiring to win elections and our cardinal goal is to bring good governance. So if we have a president who is doing that already, what do we, we will support him and that is exactly what we are doing. We are giving the president 100% support. I will encourage the minister to not fear. We are here with him, we are political party leaders across Nigeria. We have the people, so we should not fear. Anybody who has eaten Nigerian money should be prosecuted and thrown into jail. There's no time to waste. They need to be there and then not only thrown into jail, reclaim this money and put it on education, roads, healthcare, you know. That is what we are looking for. It 